welcome to part three of our four-part series on refurbishing your very own whiskey or wine barrel. At this point, we have shown you how to clean the metal hoops or bands of the barrel and sand the barrel to your liking. The next step is to stain the barrel and or seal the barrel to your liking. When we fully refurbish a barrel, we sand the barrel down to fresh wood. When we do that, we follow that process up with staining the barrel with an oil-based stain. If you're trying to retain more of the barrel's original appearance and maybe only gave the barrel a hand sand, you may want to skip the staining portion and move right into the sealing process. Let's first talk about staining. There are dozens of stain colors that you can choose from. When we're staining a whiskey or wine barrel, our go-to choice for color is the Provencial or Provencial Oak. This stain works well to give the oak wood of the barrel a rich color. It darkens the wood nicely, but still allows the natural grain of the wood to show through. If a customer wants a lighter stain color, we often recommend to them the golden oak stain color. Another great stain color choice is walnut, if you like that darker brown appearance. Lastly, if you're trying to match the stain color of other wood furniture in your house, feel free to experiment with other wood stain colors. Before getting started, make sure you're in a well-ventilated room. I would also recommend using a respirator to protect yourself from the fumes of the stain, and also use rubber gloves to protect your hands and make cleanup easy. Next, use a tack cloth to remove any surface, dirt, or dust that may remain on the barrel. Next, open the can of stain and stir it thoroughly so that the stain is well mixed. Next, use a towel or brush to apply the stain to the barrel. The more stain you apply, the longer you leave the stain on the barrel, and the more coats you apply to the barrel, the darker it will be. Make sure you apply the stain in the direction of the grain of the wood. For the whiskey barrels, we typically apply the stain right over the hoops. This will help darken the hoops, which is a really sharp look. For the wine barrels, any stain that gets on the hoops easily wipes off. After a minute or so, I'll use a fresh cloth to remove any excess stain. And that's it. The process for applying the sealer is essentially the same between a stained barrel and an unstained barrel. The only difference is if you have stained your barrel, make sure you wait the recommended number of hours for the stain to dry before applying the sealer. There are two different sealers that we recommend using. If the barrel is going to stay inside for the majority of its life, or at least be stored inside when not in use, we recommend using the polyacrylic water-based sealer. It's low odor and low toxicity, and it looks great when applied to these barrels. If you plan to leave the barrel outside, I would recommend sealing the barrel with a spar urethane, such as this Helmsman product. The spar urethanes are very durable and they're UV resistant. That's why they're often the choice for wooden boats, wooden decks, and outdoor wooden furniture. Both of these products are applied in a very similar manner using a natural bristle brush. For, the, for this demonstration, we're going to use the polycrylic sealer on the stained barrels and we're going to use the Helmsman spar urethane product on the lightly sanded whiskey and wine barrels. Both of these products are offered in multiple sheens. You can get the products in satin, semi-gloss, or a high gloss. For the barrels, both when they're stained and unstained, we typically use the satin variant of the product. The sealing process starts similar to the stain process. Remove the lid and stir the sealer thoroughly. You don't want to shake stains or sealers as that can put air bubbles in the product, which could ultimately end up on the barrel. Once thoroughly stirred, use a clean natural bristle brush to begin applying the product. If using the polycrylic sealer, you'll find that it goes on with a milky appearance. Not to worry, this will dry clear. We often first apply the product horizontally, then brush the product vertically along the wood grain for the best final appearance. As you apply the product, you'll find that it has the tendency to be runny if you put too much on it in a given area. Simply keep an eye out for any runs and wipe them with a brush. After coating the barrel, check out the instructions for the required drying time before adding the next coat. Most sealers require a light sand with a fine grit sandpaper 
in between each coat of sealer. Make sure you lightly sand in the direction of the wood grain for best result. In between each coat of sealer, a nice time-saving trick is to put the brush in a plastic Ziploc bag so that it doesn't dry out and so you don't have to clean the brush in between each coat. Next up, we're going to talk about sealing a used barrel that has only been lightly sanded. For this demonstration, we're going to use the Helmsman Spar Urethane, which we recommended if the barrel was going to be left outside. Now, the polycrylic sealer and the Helmsman can both be used on either used whiskey barrels, used wine barrels, or stained barrels. They're really interchangeable. In a similar manner to the polycrylic sealer, we apply this Helmsman Spar Urethane sealer with a brush. We, of course, seal over all of the wood of the barrel but we also coat the hoops of the barrel to protect them as well. Continue to watch to make sure the product does not run down the side of the barrel at all. If you do find it running, simply wipe it with the brush. The product label for the Helmsman Spar Urethane also recommends applying two to three coats of the sealer to the wood product. They also recommend sanding in between coats with a 220 grit sandpaper. We just finished applying our first coat of sealer to this barrel. We'll now let it dry for a few hours. We'll lightly sand the barrel according to these instructions with a 220 grit sandpaper. We'll apply another coat, we'll sand, and apply a final coat of sealer. After that, we'll have a finished sealed barrel. There's one step left to this barrel refurbishing process, and it's an important one. In the next video, we're gonna show you how to secure the hoops of the barrel to the staves of the barrel. In doing this, we'll be able to ensure that the barrel lasts a lifetime. Thanks for watching.